This past year has been challenging for families, child care providers, and children. At Child Care Action Council, we believe that every child should have the right to reach their full potential, and the pandemic will not hold us back from supporting early learning communities. We continue this work through a host of programming focused on children, families, and child care providers, because we know that a child's future health and happiness are built during those first five years, and will set the trajectory for their learning and health for the rest of their lives. Hi, I'm Beth Schilling and I'm the ECAP Administrator. Our agency, Child Care Action Council, provides ECAP to children and families both here in Pleasant Glade in Lacey as well as up in Shelton. Providing ECAP in a virtual world really has been a challenge. Pre preschool children learn best through hands-on experiences and trying to translate that into a virtual reality is, is really, really difficult. So what our strategy really has been is really to work with our families as well as the children. ECAP is actually very unique in that that's what makes it special, is the family support component. So we really maximize that part of it to help our children with their um, learning, their learning by helping parents learn about what's developmentally appropriate, different activities that they can do at home. The activities we send home weekly actually are ones that we encourage the parents to do with their child. We encourage the parents to give us feedback about how their child's doing developmentally, to send us pictures of some of the work that they've done so we can work together to assess their children and their progress. We are so thankful to be part of Child Care Action Council because we have access to many resources within Child Care Action Council to help support our work. And that would include the Raising a Reader program, which we're still continuing to do even though we're doing virtual. It really helps us get those resources out to families, uh, more books into the hands of kids and families to help increase their uh, literacy. We also partner with the Parents as Teachers program in Mason County and some of our families overlap a little bit so we're able to share resources and support each other in that work. At the beginning when the pandemic first happened, all of us were really struggling with things, you know, um, particularly our essential workers who are our child care providers. They were at the front line providing services for first responders. So that was very hard for them um, to make changes drastically that way. Um, so they adjusted. And even though it was emotionally stressful because they didn't know what was going to happen in the future. We were there to, as a support. And that's why I love the job that I do, because we can go in so many areas to just help our providers. Wherever they are needing that help, we're there. We, we try our best to make sure that they get that. We work so hard in providing essential items to them and that we put our, even ourselves out there because we wanted to help them. And we knew that they were more at risk than we were because we were working from home, but they were out there working with uh, their families. Hi, my name is Burju Bryan. I've been on the Child Care Action Council for a little over two years. And the reason I joined Child Care Action Council is I believe education provides upward mobility. I'm a living example of it. I was born in Turkey to a lower income family by American standards, and here I am today talking to you. So I feel education starts not at first grade or kindergarten, the earlier the better, and uh, CCAC have many programs that specifically addresses that need, such as uh, Raising a Reader, where bags of books are delivered to those families who may not have access to those books. Uh, or parents as teachers for those families and caregivers that uh, may not all be trained up to provide early childhood um, care. So those activities that are really near and dear to my heart are provided by CCAC and I felt if I joined this organization I could in some little way pay back the favors and uh, help the young little ones of this community benefit the things that I benefited from education. What do you like about this particular job? I know that uh, these families uh, need support, and it's a great thing to be able to deliver them food and their uh, supplies for learning. And that's what it's all about, and I love doing it. To the Child Care Action Council team of early educators, infant and toddler coaches, family support providers, 
Early Achievers Coaches, Leadership, and Admin Support Team. Thank you for your unwavering dedication to helping our early learning communities. To our sponsors, donors, foundations, and volunteers, thank you for your support of our programming. Thank you to our community partners for working with us to provide safety information and early learning activities during the pandemic. An extra thank you for helping us to reimagine virtual activities while engaging children in our community through events such as Swim Into Summer and Building Through Play. And to the child care providers, thank you for your professionalism during this difficult year. Thank you.